NHS is owned by us, used by us, and loved by us. These are the words of a group of local mums who are trying to fight to protect our NHS. This group is based in the Darlington region, and they are trying to put the NHS above politics. This is 999, call for the NHS. It all started when Darlington working mum, Joanna Adams, sent out a tweet from her living room. It ended up with a campaign group she founded named 999 Call for the NHS. She led thousands into Trafalgar Square at the peak of the group's 300 mile march from Jarrow to London in September 2014. What we're about is about making ordinary people feel part of something, about making ordinary people have a voice and, and, and to empower people and to involve them. You don't need to walk 300 miles. We tell you, you can walk a mile, you can just come to the rally. Their march was a journey of struggle and hope, but it was also a journey that took political innocence in the dark recesses of British democracy. The march was continued by group member Jo Land in 2016, a Darlington lady. She led a march around the hospitals in our area to highlight the huge distance between the facilities and oppose the government's latest wave of cuts to the health service. The NHS in the country is now split into 44 regional areas known as footprints. The footprint march from the NHS started in North Allerton, led through to Darlington and Bishop Auckland, up to Consett, through Durham and Hartlepool, round to Middlesbrough and then back to Darlington, equating to an over a hundred mile journey. We marched um, from Nathalaton to uh, Darlington. Um, there's a section that you can't walk, so we've got a coach, but we've still done about nine, ten miles. We're trying to highlight how far apart the hospitals are. People are going to have to travel, you know, an incredibly uh, long way um, to, to access services and, and treatment, and it's going to cost lives. So we want to bring people together in different communities to fight for the NHS. We, so we start from here again uh, tomorrow at nine o'clock. Then we go to, um, we walk to Bishop Auckland Hospital. And then we walk to Shotley Bridge Hospital. And then we walk to uh, University Hospital North Durham and then to Hartlepool. Then to James Cook in Middlesbrough, North Tees in Stockton, and then we come back to Darlington. Because the NHS is a cause to celebrate, you wouldn't know from the media that it's been rated the best and most efficient public health service in the world, despite the depredations of successive governments. I wouldn't have decided to do something as big as this if I wasn't 100% convinced that these were. You know, this was going to deal an absolutely devastating blow to the NHS. I've, you know, I've got the documents, I've circulated them on Facebook and they show exactly, you know, that we're going to lose a maternity unit, a stroke unit, two or three or even four a &Es. It's absolutely appalling and they didn't want us to know. They didn't want us to know about these plans. great upholders of the original vision of the NHS. Born of the sacrifices of the war, a free and equal healthcare for all, it's a mirror to the best side of our nature, the social, compassionate 
rather than the predatory and self-serving. The 999 call for the NHS team are resolutely independent, an authentic grassroots campaign group unadulterated by party politics and determined to speak in their own voice and make it count. They should be heard as widely as possible. Thank you for watching our show, and if you'd like to find any more information or you'd like to support this group, please look at the link below. Thank you.